Welcome back, Reds fans. We've got another edition of Getting to Know. This time I'm joined by Will Ferry. Will, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Cool. Yeah, and obviously, as, you, as you've gathered so far from the episode with Nick Cerullo, this is a little bit more sort of off the pitch, you know. But we're going to start a little bit on the pitch, obviously. On live from Southampton, you know, you've played your first few games. How have you been finding it so far? Yeah, I've been loving it. It's obviously a new experience. And I'm just loving playing men's football, senior football, and adapting to it and hopefully improving. And obviously, you got your first goal. I sort of want to talk about it a little bit. I know we've spoken a bit about it before. I saw your tweet, you know, first professional goal and everything. I want to talk about the celebration because I don't think anyone really saw it coming. You know, sort of, you see a lot of these, you know, first goal, you yeah. run into the corner, you go going mental. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure we'll play it over the top, but you pulled something pretty special out. Yeah, I, I didn't actually realise people had seen it because <laughs> everyone went over to Hess because obviously it was good balling. Um but I'd been planning it for a while. Obviously, it's taken a while for me to get my first goal. Um, but even when I was away, away on international, we were always planning it if I scored. And it's one of those where I told too many people in the change room that I was going to do it. And before every game, they're like, "All right, you're going to have to you're do, gonna it. Have to do, do it. it." And then obviously, couldn't let everyone down. But even when I came back into the change room after, like people at Nadders and that were straight up <laughs> like, oh, "I know you do it." Yeah. So, yeah, who was. I, I bottled it halfway through. I, I, I was going to carry on a bit longer, but no one came over to me. So yeah, it would have been a bit awkward. Yeah. Is that something that that's not going to become like a signature move, oh, no, is no, it? No, like, no. no, you're going to have to plan something else. Yeah, I'll, for think, a second. Of, I'll think of a, a better one. Hopefully. A better one. Is yeah. that is that something you plan on doing every time you score? Something that you, not your traditional. Like, I know Tom Nichols always runs away, does yeah. the Shearer, but something well, special every is, time. It, that's always my first instinct is to put my hand up. Like even for that goal, the first thing mm. I did was that. But then obviously. I switched out a bit, but it's it's a good thing, obviously, unless you're getting battered or whatever. Mm. It's obviously not, but I think it's a, it'd be a good thing to do like a different sort of yeah celebration every time. Well, no, I suppose you can also tell that with your goal gift as well, because obviously you, I oh, think yeah. you've probably got one of the best ones. You know, you come in, <laughs> pick the right sack up, you do that as well. What was the expression you got that? To be fair, oh, I can't I can't remember. What I think it might be Tyler, mm. Tyler, because I was quite new at that point as well, so I was a bit like. I think I think it was Tyler gave me inspiration for that, but I got about that one. That was <laughs> yeah, no, that was a good one. Right, we move on to off the field. I think the first topic we started with Nick was uh, TV, Netflix. What are you watching at the moment? Um, I've just finished the U. Yeah, so I watched season three. Yeah, so that's obviously a bit dark and yeah. stalkerish, but I've it's heard good. It's I've heard good mixed watch. things about that. I've heard not as good as season one and two. I haven't started it yet. I so think no spoilers, but I just think it's different. Yeah. Like, Different sometimes good, isn't it? Like the second mm. set was very good, and this one's just different. It, it's yeah. one of those where you just every episode you can think, you know, oh, not again, or Surely why not, are you doing yeah. this? Yeah. So oh, I've heard similar things. It is good though. Yeah. I enjoyed it. What, what about Squid Games? Have you watched that yet? Yeah, I watched that. What do you think of that? It was good, but I didn't like the ending. I thought the ending was a bit no. I, I thought they could have done more with the ending, yeah. and we had this debate with Nick: subtitles or dub. Uh, no, I just had the voiceover. I'm pretty yeah, sure. same. Uh, I, I, I couldn't be bothered. No, every, everyone's like, oh, you've got to watch it in Korean and sort of understand the subtitles. I'm like, well... Well, then you have to focus. Yeah, or you're watching the subtitles, yeah. not the actual show. That's never, yeah, no, never but If you could pick top three Netflix shows. Whatever. Ever. It's hard, this. Oh, I don't know. Probably hard on the think. spot as well. On the spot. Power was up there. Yeah, I, I loved, can't be asked for that. I love Power. Too much. Uh, oh, oh. Like your typical like prison break. Prison break, yeah. That was... So that's number yeah. one for me. Yeah, always, prison break's be. number one. I wouldn't say Netflix. I'd say Game of Thrones is my favorite. Ever. Nick said that as well. See, top, I, I tried Game top. of Thrones. I just couldn't do it. But I you can't beat Game of Thrones. That was different taste. Well, that's not Netflix. No, I'd say yeah, uh, something like you or mm. yeah, or Sex Education. Smart. It's just an easy watch. Yeah, uh, I could. It'd be hard to pick like an actual yeah top three. Like top three. Do you watch many films? Is that sort of something you're interested in? Or is it more uh, of a just sort of sit down? Hour no, I, I like films. I don't like it as much as some people. Mm. Like my girlfriend watches films for fun. Yeah. But I, I, I like I like a good few, but I'm not I'm not a serial film watcher. Yeah. I'm more like program. Yeah. So. What about, well, I feel like half of it's sort of been answered by your T-shirt already. Yeah. But what about music? Obviously, you've got Nirvana T-shirt on. Yeah. What sort of music do you like? I don't know what you call a genre, like indie, indie, indie rock. yeah. Uh, it's like none of this modern stuff. No, like Arctic no. Monkeys and yeah, I, I listen to everything. Mm. But that was from being a kid. That's my main thing. So yeah. I used to go to like live, yeah, live gigs and, and stuff. 
like Sabian and King Leon yeah. anymore. So I think you'll get on very well with Charlie, our yeah. videographer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that, he's going to see Casabian next week, yeah. and like yeah, yeah no, you'll get on very well with him. Sort of want to talk about as well. What is like a day in the life of Will Ferrier on a match day? So sort of talk us through from the moment day. you wake up, like Saturday home game, right back to Sutton, for example. Uh, so I always have to make sure I get up like on a normal time rather than I'm in a bit of a line mm. just because I need to get in breakfast and pretty much whereas I beat breakfast too close pretty much yeah. at like 12 mm. then I feel like I can't eat as much because I have to eat loads to make sure I'm hungry enough mm. uh, not too hungry when I start the game and I just like just chill sometimes I do a bit of like studying if I'm up extra early um, but I'll usually just chill go for a little walk uh, make my pretty much which is usually just Egg, egg and toast, mm. or that's probably or for a Saturday three club egg and egg and toast. Um, then drive to the stadium, listen to my <laughs> my Adele song, <laughs> uh, and then yeah, just I have to get changed. I have to take everything off before I get changed. If you get what I mean. So I sit in my my soggies, yeah, and then strap my fingers, and then I can get changed. Um, and then yeah, that's I'm trying to think. I don't do anything <laughs> else. I don't think. Just score a goal and throw it back in the celebration. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Literally throwing it back. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, you mentioned in that something that people probably won't know is that you're actually studying for a degree alongside playing. Talk us a little, little bit more about that. Yeah, so I've just started uh, a, it's like a part-time economics degree on the side. So it's just another, another mm. what is it, Strawsier hat? Yeah, yeah I, I know what you mean, yeah. Um, I don't even think it's like, <laughs> is it something like that. Oh, it's something like um, that. But... Yeah, it's just some being on the side. Obviously, I think you never know what's around the corner, so it's just another another plan, just in case anything goes wrong. But in the meantime, it's something that's stimulating my brain, other than football twenty four seven, which sometimes you need a break. Hmm. Is that something that you've always had planned? Sort of since like you were young, you always knew, uh, like, despite if your career did take off, you'd always like want to do something on the side anyway. Yeah, I think it's been. I think it's always been encouraged by my parents as well, but it's always been in my head to. To try something at least, mm. at least give it, at least give it a go, so I can say that I've tried. Do you know what I mean? I've tried something else, um, but I like to think I'm reasonably intelligent. So mm. it's just one of those. I just need to make sure I put my mind to it, and hopefully I can do it. Yeah, and get through it because it's very rare, isn't it? I suppose in football, I know Quezzy is another one that he that he's studying for degree. I think in media, he said, but like it must be. Is it hard to sort of find the time? Because obviously you're training. Monday, Tuesday, maybe you have the yeah. one day off midweek and then first day, you're travelling, you know, Scunthorpe, for example, I'm sure you're leaving tomorrow, uh, yeah. Friday, so. I'd say time-wise, you, you can make the time with the, the willingness to do it in that time. So if you, like, have a bad day of training mm. or a long day of training, it's, it makes it harder when you get back to go, right, now I'll get my books out or get my yeah. laptop and do whatever. I think it's more of a, if you've had a bad day, still needing to do it yeah. whereas sometimes people just want to go and lie in bed or yeah. I don't know listen to sad music or whatever. Yeah. so like it's it's the it's for getting the the determination to do it I think that's the hardest yeah so what like say you've had you know as you say you might have had a bad result you've had a bad day at training like if you're not if you get home you're like I'm not picking up the books today like yeah. what do you normally do to just switch off I just like going for a coffee I just mm. like sitting and zoning out it sounds a bit weird but just like yeah. watching the world go by no, yeah um, get I, out of your own yeah. sort of troubles and just think about nothing. Yeah, I just love my coffee. We'll yeah. Put a bit of music in uh, in my AirPods and then yeah, just let the world go by and watch. Mm. But I'd say yeah, and maybe maybe read, maybe. But I'd say I would just I just love my coffee, so I just go and sit and just sit in my own little bubble, basically. Fair enough. Yeah, obviously you said before we just started talking. You normally just like go and maybe sit in a prep. So if you if you're walking into prep, you're like right, I've got a you got to either pick up the books and study or you're just going to switch off. What's your prep order? There's obviously, other coffee outlets are available for yeah. sponsorship reasons. Well, it's my go-to is always a flat white. Yeah. If I spend too much time in there, I usually treat myself to like a little <laughs> frappe. Coffee, oh, coffee yeah, frappe. nice. But a flat white is always my go-to. And then if I'm feeling tired, I'll just have like an espresso. But I've always got to do like, if I have an espresso, I've got to like get the spoon on Oh, like brush it, no, I like brush it around the top of the cup. That's all. Like that's inventive. I've seen like, people do that with like alcohol, but like, nah, not, yeah, so you, you get the spoon, like, yeah. the bottom of the spoon, and you like spread it around the, the, cup, around the top the, of the cup. Yeah, because I saw some like 
Well, coffee. then it goes directly like when you. I don't know. I just saw some. <laughs> just saw someone do it. Yeah, coffee connoisseur on Instagram. So just fair enough. Of, sort of coffee. Fair enough. Obviously, and then finally we we'll talk about um sort of like sort of friends off the pitch. Obviously, since you've since you've moved here, you've I know you've moved in with some of the lads, you know, just down the road in you know what is known as the players' house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, have you been finding that, and who have you sort of grown closest to so far? Uh, it's, it's good. It's obviously interesting when you have play a lot of players in the same house. You obviously have different characters mixing, but it's, it's good. I've I'm probably closest with Owen uh, and Alex just because I spend the most time with them. So you, I'm naturally close to them and also the nice people. Mm. Uh, anyone else? I'd say yeah, they're the two closest. Uh, Jordan, Jordan to the club yeah. as well. But he likes his coffee, so it's a nice yeah. for a coffee. I'd say they're the, like the three I've probably been closest with, but I'd say everyone. Yeah. I feel comfortable with everyone, even like guys like Amrit and that have mm. just could sit and have a conversation with. Yeah. How did that sort of sort of like help you settle in? Like, was that good to just yeah. sort of because Owen was obviously new, Alex has been new, Blondie, Luddy, they're both yeah. new. It definitely helps because you, you're thrown into it. Like, it's even even if you're even the football side of it, I was thrown straight into it because mm. I came the week the start of the season straight into the heart of the pool. So like, be already just being with everyone, living with everyone. Obviously, that's already part of the team. It's just. Just blend you not blend in. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're integrated. You're, yeah, group. already like so, sort of in the mix. So it, it definitely it definitely helps. Cool. Will, it's been great talking to you. Yeah, uh, yeah Reds fans, hope you've enjoyed. So yeah, that's all for now, Will. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Thank you.